In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Kiwi size chart and recommender Shopify app. Now, this is such a great app for allowing you to recommend customers the correct size of item for them, and it helps you to reduce returns and that kind of thing. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in as quick time as possible. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description, click on that, and it will take you to this page here, which is an installer page. You can go ahead and press install. And that's going to take you to the Shopify dashboard where it will ask you to install it again. So you can just press install here and it should be installed in your store and ready to go. So now that we're inside of here, we can go ahead and press let's get you started. And it's going to give you some sort of initial onboarding stuff here. So things like customize how the size chart looks. So we can go uh, here, we can change some of the coloring here. We can add a shop logo if we want to, so just upload an image here. And it's just going to get you to either drop the file here or you can add it from a URL if you've got it already saved on Shopify somewhere. So I've just added a little bit of a logo here, as you can see. Now it's going to ask you for the corner radius, you can you know make it bigger like that so you can actually see the full thing here. It's going to ask you if you want to display both imperial and metric units, I'd recommend doing this so that people can find what they're looking for. Um, and it's going to have a unit uh, conversion display mode, conversion button, uh, you can do inline cell or inline text. I would recommend doing conversion button, it's way better. Next it's going to ask you for your default um, unit system, you can do imperial or you can do metrics. Now this depends on the country you're selling to, so make sure you research that first just so you can get a good idea of it. Uh, you've got the link text, so size chart, and you have the icon, just pick a cool icon here, any of them will do. Uh, this is what it will pop up and look like, so they can click on it, it will come up with that. This is what it looks like. Um, you can put something on there such as like check your sizing or something like that. I think ASOS does this quite well. So yeah, ASOS actually just says size guide here and you can click on it and it's going to come up with the sizing. So I'm just going to change this to size guide because ASOS obviously knows what they're doing. Uh, you can leave these bits as blank here if you want to as well. So now we're going to press finish and we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and do their onboarding sort of questions. So click this to add a new size chart. Um, this is where you sh it shows the size charts you've created. This is some styles and layouts um, and that kind of thing. So the first thing we need to do now is we need to enable this app inside of our store. So we're going to go over here and press enable Kiwi theme helper. And it's going to basically open up your Shopify store. And any second now it should pop up on the left hand side um, and it's going to give you the app that you need to add so basically if you're doing this from scratch you want to find, go onto your product page and you want to go to add block you want to come over to apps and you want to click kiwi sizing and then you want to basically just drag this on your product page to where you want now let's say we want it under or above the add to cart button or maybe we want it above the let's say above the buy buttons here Give it a second and it should load up above here. Now this is obviously only going to work if you have multiple sizing on here um, and you've set it up. But th we've done that so now this should show up above the add to cut buttons if it's applicable. And I'll show you how to set up the different size charts now. So we're going to want to go over to the left hand side and go to products here. And it's going to ask you for view products about size charts if you want to click that. So let's say we want to edit this one here. Um, this one has no sizings. Um, you probably want to add sizings, but I'm going to press add new size chart. And it's going to ask us for the design. So you've got things like tops, shoes, pet collar, or you can start with an empty one here. You can also import a size chart. So you can do it from product description, CSV, uh, image, or web page. Um, I'm just going to start with an empty one here. So it's going to ask you for the, the uh, size ranges. This is going to be separated by comma, so you could do something like um, big, medium, large, for example. Um, and then it's going to ask you for the measurement sizes. So we could say, you know, chest, waist, hip, or we could say anything else. So we could say neck, um, leg, <laughs> forehead, whatever you want to do, you can put that in here. Um, inside here, it's going to ask you for the uh, data. So what size neck does someone have to have to be a big so let's just say i don't know 40 inches i don't know if that's a neck size um and 
remember actually that um, you're going to have to convert this as well. So if we can select the units here first, so let's say um, inches. So we can just put 40 here, that'll be 40 inches. And now if we go to centimeters, it should automatically convert it here. So that's a good thing to note. Don't put your um, metric in there, just put the number. So we can change all of these. So we can say 50, 100. And um, there we go, we've got our size chart ready to go. So now we can go ahead and save this. And um, we can just close that there. You can leave a review if you want to. Close that and we can then save it here. Now, once we've done that, we can add a size recommend uh, recommender. So they've got a few different ones here. They have the advanced apparel recommender. So it's a, um, they, they simply input basic information and they predict it. So what we can do here is this generally only works if you've got, um, so if you're using like basic metrics such as like, um, you know, chest width and that kind of thing but basically you can go over here and you can match this with some general user statistics here um, and that's going to allow you to set that up so basically people can just put in their height their weight and it's going to predict what size item they should get so this is quite a cool useful feature here um, we've got our analytics here so this is going to be your data about how many people have looked at it that kind of thing and it will tell you sort of how many people have actually converted because of this app here um, this is also going to show you the recommender inputs as well on here, just like that. Um, we've got we've done our styles and settings, but we can go in here if we want to, and we can uh, edit all of these in depth. We can really just go into them. They've got things like you know your fonts, uh, sizing, coloring, all of that kind of stuff in there. We also have some advanced stuff here, so we can sync it. We can get our analytics, such as Google Analytics. Analytics. We can set all of that up in here. We've got custom CSS, and we've got some other stuff here. Um, and then lastly we have our, our uh, plans as well so you've got build monthly build annually and it starts at free and it goes all the way up to $12 a month or, um, and it's going to give you a little charge per order as well so it gives you a 14 day free trial as well so it's pretty good but you can just pick which one you want based upon your needs but that's basically how you use this app so if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. And also comment down below if it did help you out. Now if you have any other questions about this app in particular or a different Shopify app, let me know down below and I will do my best to go ahead and actually make a video on that. But with that being said, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video and best of luck with your store.